23 tournaments, you're going for 24 in your second TBA National. How do you feel? Marshall, I felt great all week. I don't have any complaints about anything. I'm just going to go out and throw 12 of the best balls I've thrown in two years. Now you've got a couple more tournaments to win to pass up uh, Daddy Dick Weber. Is that going to happen soon? Well, when I win this one, I'm going to get with 24. He's got 26. Dad, I'm going to be within two, and I will pass before I'm done. He's going to get you, Dick. I'll tell you. Back up to you, Mike. All right. Pete Marshall. Yeah. Pete Weber, our top seed. You mentioned he's got 23 titles. But he has to wait. The winner of this match, our third round match, David Ozio and Tom Baker. Baker is up first on lane 25. And Tom Baker is doing a great job striking in the second round match. Leaves one standing here in the third round match. And now. Changes balls, makes the 10 pin. He doesn't get a lot of it, but he says, hey, that's okay. You just, you know, just a little, little tap on the 10 pin and she's down. Now our first look at David Ozio, who's really become, coming out of a huge, huge slump. Uh, and a player with so much ability, you would think he would never be in a slump. He leaves, light. leaves the two pin, comes a little light. And in talking with, uh, with Brian Berg, who is the, the ball rep that helps David Ozio out. He said the main focus for David was to not think. You know, get that analytical brain out of the game and react like the athlete that he is. Except the spare. Take a look at a few more finalists. Michael Haugen Jr., who was on our telecast a few weeks ago in 10th, and Tim Chris. Chris Warren, he was up there, and my old play-by-play -play partner, Mike Durbin. Way to go, buddy. Nice finish in 13th place. Ozio in the second frame. Follows the spare with a strike. And the classic form of David Ozio, teach your son or daughter to throw it like this. Beautiful shot, David. He knows it's close. Will it carry? Yes, it does. He's got that great knee flex. Well, he's, he's got the whole the whole physical package and just needs to keep his mind out of it. Here goes Baker going for a strike. Another, another 10 pin. Another 10 pin for Vakes. You know, last week on our telecast, it, a similar thing happened. You know, a, a player would bowl a good game and win and then come up against the next right and lose. So uh, we're seeing a pattern developing here on Pro Bowlers Tour. As you see, Bakes with a 17-6-1 record. That'll get it done. Yes, he picked up the spare. And so Baker begins with a spare in the first, a spare in the second. And then move over to lane 25, looking for his first strike in our third round match. Well, take a look at Tom Baker shooting for the 10 pin. Changes balls, hard and straight, no problem. But right now, spares aren't going to get it done for Tom. Needs to start striking. Remember last game, Tom? It looks there something like that. Mike, as amazing as it seems, uh, the PBSC, who drills the bowling balls for the players, there was a 150-man field. They drilled 405 balls. As we take a look, Jeff Morin finishing 14th, and Brian Smith, talented right-hander from Southern Oregon. Ozio in the third. And again, a little light. And as I said at the top of the telecast, the right-handers had trouble with lane 26 because the ball was hanging. Not as much finish on the right-hand lane, not as much finish drive into the pocket. And David also said that he was squaring up his body even more to try and go extraordinarily direct. Well, he's been working on his swing just like you would in golf. He uses an elaborate teaching computer. He says he was, he was throwing it too much inside out. Got to hurry. And David Ozio well, picking keeps, up the 2-4-8. And he keeps his one-pin lead, but Tom Baker now has the strike working. David Ozio trying to get another string started, a string of one on lane 25. One thing about this guy, he is, and he'll call himself this, he's a perfectionist, not just in bowling, but in everything he does. We were in the press room yesterday and some papers.
were not piled up properly and <laughs> he needed to straighten them out and he straightens those pins and knocks them down a strike in the fourth for Ozio well Ozio kind of a nuts and bolts kind of guy whether he is bowling or fishing as he loves his bass fishing he likes to to break it down into pieces and then figure out the best way to put it back together little distraction or probably uh, not a distraction as much as Tom Baker has trouble sometimes getting a good feel of the ball has trouble getting his hand comfortable on the ball and won't throw it until he does you can see the concentration in his eyes that ball bounced on him he still got it wow that ball was off his hand in kind of a funny way sort of double dribbled it and landed right in the flush in the pocket take a look Sixpin does the damage well, take a look. Watch this ball kind of fall off his hand. Ba-bang. Yeah. Ba-bang. Is that a word? <laughs> that is now. A nine-pin lead for Baker. He's got that expanded pocket I talked about in the last game. It's just such a great friend. When you don't have to hit high flush in the pocket to strike, everything loosens up. The game becomes very easy. Ba-bang. Thank you. <laughs> Ozio now in the fifth. How do you spell that? <laughs> Needs to get the ball up to pocket. Makes the adjustment and he gets a break himself. That's the lane he came in light on two times in a row. Made sure to get the ball up to pocket and almost over, almost overcooked it. Take a look at the beautiful style of David Ozio to watch this ball travel over about the nine board. Comes in high. Give me a break. Yeah. This was your 1991 PBA Player of the Year. He made eight telecasts that year, won four titles. Trying to come out of his slump. And that's three in a row now for David Ozio. Looked like in after, our third round match. It looked as if after that shot, he just sort of turned around and took a look at Tom Baker as to say, uh, yes, here I am. So David Ozio with three in a row. Tom Baker also working on three in a row. And Baker is up when we come back to Toledo. Sixth frame now for Tom Baker. Trailing by only one to David Ozio. Ozio making a little bit of a statement in his last couple of shots. And we got a great, great match for you. And Baker with another strike. Four in a row now for Tom Baker, the 43-year-old from Buffalo, New York. And take a look at this coming right at you. Baker's going to use that expanded pocket. Watch these pins racing right over. That's a five pin that does the damage. And there's the reaction of a man who knows he's got a little room. We told you in past weeks that Tom loves alternative music. But after a few weeks of listening to Bush, he said he felt more mellow this week, and it was Sarah McLaughlin on the CD, and it seems to be working for Tom Baker. Another strike in the seventh, putting the pressure on David Ozio down by 19 in the seventh. Well, David Ozio back on the right-hand lane. Light, light, and then he trips the four pin as he dialed in. Best shot he's made on lane 26. Four in a row now for Ozio. You see Ozio, he's playing further outside. Watch the six pin. It'll chop it out. Marshall <laughs> mentioned that uh, they're yelling. Oh, well, they're doing Ozio. the they're doing the the, the Ozio the from the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not in Kansas anymore, David. Great shot from David Ozio. He, he's over there talking to those fans. Give me some of that. And a one-pin lead now for Ozio. Going back and forth. So it's Baker in the eighth. Back to lane 26. Both players on five in a row. That better stop. That was high, and there is the break Ouch. that really is going to enhance David Ozio's chances. Tom Baker has to regroup himself. 
going to need need to change balls and give this a chance. Watch, it just goes right through the heart. Very not surprising he left the split. What does he have to do to make it? He's got to get to the right-hand side. To pick up the 6-7. No, did not get to the right of the 6-pin. Nine out. And finds himself in 15 pins in the rears. We take a look at Roger Bowker, who is a champion this year, and John Mazza from Shelby Township, Michigan. Baker in the ninth. And comes in high again, and Bakes maybe losing a little bit of the feel for the ball. That's always been one of his problems, is he's never, he does not keep that comfortable feel of the ball from game to game. And it looks as if up the four seven. Tom Baker in his third finals this year. Looks like he's not going to make it through. But David Ozio is going to have to close him out, and he's got the opportunity. Up by 15 here in the ninth. And he's dialed in. As Marshall mentioned, David Ozio with yet another strike here in the ninth. Take a look at this beautiful backswing. Nice release. Follow through straight to his target. Hits light in the pocket. The pins respond. And Mike, just watching David Ozio bowl, I mean, it, it truly is poetry in motion. He's always been regarded as having, if not the most beautiful game, uh, right up there with a Brian Voss or a Parker Bowl III from the left-hand side of the lane. He really is uh, very talented. Going for seven in a row. There's your winner. He's going to be bowling for the title against Pete Weber. It's been a while for David Ozio, but he knows how to win. And Once again, David Ozio with that classic style. I love that follow through. I mean, it doesn't go left, it doesn't go right. It's directly at his target. His high finish last year was sixth in Wichita. So this is a long time coming. David Ozio. And it's really, a, it's almost a look of relief on David Ozio's face. He knows what a struggle it's been for the last, oh, especially the last five or six months. He's really, he's bowled very, very poorly by his own admission. Uh, but all of that easily forgotten as Tom Baker uh, realizes that third place is the best he's going to do. David Ozio, a strike here. Nine in a row. Two, seven, zero. And bring on Pete Weber, he says. David Ozio closes out Tom Baker in our third round match. He finishes up with a 270. Yeah. And Baker will just have to make yet another championship round appearance next week to go for that first win of 1998. It's got to be a little bit upsetting. You know, you only have so many opportunities out here. And... Tom Baker not able to cash in to get that title, although uh, he's making himself some pretty good change being on our show every week. Well, seems like every week. <laughs> now he's found it again. Two strikes in the tenth. Finished with a 230-something, depending on the fill ball. But David Ozio will advance to meet Pete Weber in our fourth round match, our championship round match. The recurring character on our TV broadcast, Mr. Tom Baker. He bowls a great game, 235. That'll win a lot of matches, but against David Ozio's 270, it's not going to happen today. So David Ozio advances. Tom Baker will try to make the championship round for the fourth time this year, next week in Erie, Pennsylvania. told me that he has a vision that he's going to win two more tournaments. Will one of those come today?